Hello, world changers. Miss McCarthy here with your Florida Fast Math freebie of the week. I've created this weekly math video series to help you feel calm and confident when it's time to throw down your best on Florida's Fast Math Assessment. Each week, we practice a specific question type. Now, these videos, they're short, they're sweet, and they are to the point. And if you know that you need some more practice, at the end of this episode, I'll point you in the direction for tons more math video lessons. Our focus for this week is the question type, drum roll, matching item. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get to it and let me teach ya. All right, fourth grade, here is your problem this week. So go ahead and pause the video, try this one on your own, and when you are ready, Come back, join me, and check your work. Welcome back, fourth grade. Let's go over this one. So it says to identify the attributes of the quadrilaterals below. What does quadrilaterals mean? It means that it is a figure with how many sides? Four, that's right. A quadrilateral must have four sides. All right, so these do have four sides, but what we need to do is see if these quadrilaterals have attributes like containing an acute angle, containing an obtuse angle, containing a right angle, contains two sets of parallel sides. So let's go through each one. Does this figure, the top one right here, does it contain an acute angle? An acute angle is smaller or less than our right angle. What I would have done is taken my square corner and measured it against some of those corners to see that yes, there is an acute angle right here and right here. So it actually contains two acute angles, so we can mark contains an acute angle. Does it contain an obtuse angle? Does it? Yeah, this one does right here. This is wider than a right and wider than a right. If you're not sure, take a square corner, try to plug it into where those corners are, and you will see it is obtuse, so we can mark that one. Contains a right angle. That's a perfect square corner. Does this one contain a right angle? No, so we can leave that one blank. And contains two sets of parallel sides. Two sets means one, Two, but this trapezoid right here only has one pair of parallel sides. That would be right here and right there. So just one pair, not two pairs, so we can leave that blank. Moving on to the next one. Does this figure contain an acute angle? Well, I hope that you put a square corner into all those square corners to see that all of these are actually right angles right here. So it does not contain an acute angle what about an obtuse angle, an angle that is wider than a right? No, they're all right angles, right? So we can go ahead and move on. Does it contain a right angle? Yeah, it does, so let's mark it. And contains two sets of parallel sides. It does, and I'll use a different color to show you. We've got, this would be one set of parallel sides. They're parallel lines that will never ever cross. And over here we have another set of parallel sides parallel sides that will never ever cross. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. So we can mark this one right here. If you still need some more practice with words like acute, obtuse, right, parallel, perpendicular, stuff like that, I'm gonna go ahead and include a free music video that I have, a math music video, that walks through these terms in a fun way to help you memorize them, okay? So I'll include it in this video. If you're watching it on YouTube, it'll be in the description box. And that's how you solve this one. So go ahead and pause the video, jot down any notes that you need to make, and when you're ready to continue, press play. Now here's a message for the grown-ups in your life. If you are a teacher, parent, or educational leader looking to support your students with more practice in a safe environment, follow me over to McCarthyMathAcademy.com for tons of math videos specifically geared towards Florida's best standards. Just know that I would love the opportunity to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for your students. So make sure that you check out the link somewhere around this video. 
Now before we go, let me remind you that practice is not something we do once we're good, it's the one thing we do that makes us good. If you wanna get better, stronger, or more confident with something, you've got to make intentional time to practice. And when you're practicing, it's important to give your very best effort. I believe in you all, but the magic and the power really happens when you start to believe in yourselves. And with that, I'll see you next time, world changers.